Hey guys, Nikki here, and I am back with another do-it-yourself, a very inexpensive do-it-yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as you guys enjoyed me making the Forever Rose boxes, okay? So what I did was took an old mirror, some old Christmas lights, and some flowers, and went to town and made me a light-up mirror. But I didn't stop there. I went to the Dollar Tree and got some little boxes, and I'm going to show you how to make mini versions of those. <laughs> It's right there, okay, for like two, three dollars. Now, I know when I did my other video, those flowers were purple, but I decided to go with white, so yeah, two, three dollars, y'all. So, if you want to see how to make both, please continue to watch. Okay guys, so I got two sets of roses off of Amazon. This is the first set. They will be linked below like always. They are backless and I really needed these because it's better when I am trying to glue gun items down. And I got a stream of roses like this. It came with five of them. So I went and got some flowers from the Dollar Tree also, but I'm not gonna use them. So I'm taking them things back and I'm just playing. <laughs> but I got them because my Amazon order was lost and then all of a sudden it popped up, so yeah. I just got some regular lights at the garage, some purple duct tape to cover my mirror with. Whatever flowers you are doing, I would recommend to cover your mirror that color if it don't already come that color. Some scissors, glue sticks, and of course a glue gun. All right, so first thing, I already did one side because I don't think all of my subscribers and viewers are really smart, so I don't have to do step by step. So I'm just gonna show you how to cover the other side. Now I had this mirror in the garage already. I got it from Ross for like 20 bucks or something, but you can go to Walmart and get those $5 mirrors. I think they're black, white. Sometime when it's back to school, they do them in colors for dorm rooms, but yeah. $5. Don't spend a lot of money on a mirror and you're just going to cover it. Come on now, y'all. So what I'm doing is just covering it with purple tape that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1. $1. Okay. I got two rows and it did the job. I still have some left on the second row. So that's what you're doing right here. So you're going to continue this process until the whole entire mirror is the color you wanted. I could have left this black. I really could have, but no, I don't want to. If you see through the holes of the flowers, which you're not supposed to, I only want to see purple. So this is the entire mirror cover, and I only have type and paper. Ooh, that's so old school, but printer paper right there so the mirror won't blind you guys. So we're going to take the lights. This is very simple. It's a string of them. You leave this little part out. I probably should have left a little bit more out because I have to plug this into an extension cord to use it. But yeah, learn from my mistakes. Leave a little bit more out. And I'm just going to tape these lights down. Now the goal is for all of the lights to stick up, but you don't have to worry about that right now because you will be able to glue your flowers around the lights to where they stick up. So you're literally going to repeat this step around the whole entire mirror. You don't have to be neat with this because you're just going to cover them anyway, right? So this is once the entire mirror is covered with the lights. So, 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 so. Let's start with the, I forgot what this is called, a um, vine of roses. 
these were on Amazon. Five came in the pack for like 12 bucks. Now, you can go and get flowers from Dollar Tree, break them up, and glue gun them down individually. That's a lot of work, but it's way cheaper. I can't lie. But I like this method better because I can just tape down the vine and keep it pushing. So I'm going to do that around the whole entire mirror. And I did use all five of the vines that came in the pack. So right here, I am probably on my third or fourth one. Like I said, it came with five, and it looks cute like that, guys. It looks cute, but we got to go overboard. We got to go over the top. So I'm not going to stop there. But yeah, as of right now, we're just going to continue to wrap this around. This is my last one right here. And yeah, that's what you should have so far. So like I said, we're not going to use these, so I'm just going to put them to the side and I'm actually going to put them in a vase in the beauty room already. And you literally just place these right here to fill the holes. You just place them anywhere you need to fill the hole. And that's what I said. I got the flat black, not the flat blacks, the fat, <laughs> I can't talk y'all, the flat backs. So that I didn't have to pull anything out to glue them down. Guys, I just went there. I almost said fat back, all kind of stuff. But you guys get what I'm saying. So you're just going to take this all the way around the mirror. Let's get to work. All right, guys, so at this point, you should see how simple this is. I'm literally just glue gunning and pushing, and I'm making sure that I push around the lights so that the lights will stick up. And this is the final, final. Put some Windex on that mirror, <laughs> and you're in good to go. And look at the lights. Oh, my gosh. So that is what it looked like right there with the lights on, off, and this is what it looked like with the lights on. So beautiful. I, I mean, like, I am obsessed with this. I saw it. I didn't watch any videos or whatever. I just went in the garage, went on Amazon, and got to digging out products to do it myself. And you guys, I know you guys love stuff like this. And a lot of us don't have anything else to do right now. So this is the time to get your arts and crafts and your redecorating and everything. So this is with all of the lights off. No lights on in the room, okay? That's, like, so sexy. So yeah, now it's time to move into how to make the mini boxes of the Forever Flowers. Real inexpensive, I just wanted two little mini boxes to sit right here. And the best part about this is the boxes already come pretty. So we really don't have to mess with the boxes. So let's hop straight into what we're gonna need. These boxes are $1 at the Dollar Tree. I wanted two purple ones, but I had to get a pink one. You know, I had to make it work. But the boxes are really not going to show, so, you know, it really doesn't matter. So, I'm going to use some of the leftover flowers. I had a lot of them left over. I thought I was going to need so many. Um, but, yeah, and I got styrofoam from the Dollar Tree also. For my last video, you guys tell me that those foam boards are at the Dollar Tree, and they are. And I got these little foam boards. They're sheets. I'm going to use those, okay? I already have them in my garage. So those are really meant for packing, like when you're shipping something. So we're gonna take our glue gun and we're just gonna go ahead and glue the top on. You don't have to put a lot, just enough to make sure that everything stay together. And excuse my nails, my hands look so funny. <laughs> so you put the styrofoam in here. I'm gonna show you how to do it with the ones from the Dollar Tree. 
but I like it better with this but I have to cut it so that's what I'm about to do but yeah guys I'm still quarantined I'm still um staying safe at home and I didn't feel the need to put press on to show you guys this because girl we put in work so you should be focused on the beautiful flowers not my nails <laughs> So I'm just cutting it to make it fit in the box and I'm going to build it. So I have six sheets. So what I'm going to do is just push them in there, but I'm going to glue them down so that when I sit the box up, um, you know, it doesn't fall out. And it kind of melt. It was like kind of like ASMR watching the foam melt because it hit the um, hot glue from the gun. But it still served its purpose. So I'm just going to stack this in the box. So after you have all of them stacked, you just put the glue on the back and take it to town. Now this is when I wish I had the roses that had the stems on them. Because I could have just pushed them down off in there. But it's going to give us the same look. The same look. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to skip on to the next step. And we're almost done at this step right here. You're just going to take your last flower. And you're going to put it in. And then what you're going to do is take your hands and like fluff. Because you don't want to see through to the white. You just pull them out, fluff them out. And voila. So yeah guys, I hope you really enjoyed this two for one. There's a cheaper alternative to the flowers I did once before. You don't have to pay $15 for a box and all that, but these are really tiny. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. And here are both of them together, the pink and the purple one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye!